You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. you see me fit sing oh ding welcome to it i welcome to the rachel of force show this is me rachel of force and everything is okay <laughs> this is a spiritual podcast from me a comedian because well healing is hilarious it's so funny that we're all doing this you know take the sadness out of it and generational trauma is you know engaging it's a good story. It's compelling. And I just think that there is so like being in the storm is hard. Being alive is hard, right? Like now I found on days that are a struggle for whatever reason, like we can even be in positive struggle and someone says, how are you? And now I've found for a while, I would say like neutral, right? Because it's not good. It's not bad. But like, I'm not like, God, I love all this positive stress. You know, like I'm not a monster. Um, And now I've found that I'm alive. How do you feel? Alive. I feel very alive, very activated. And this is what we're here to do. And um, that's everything that this podcast is about. And I just wanted to take a minute up top and thank you for being here and thank you for listening and thank you for every DM that you send me saying, oh my gosh, I was going through the same thing. I felt like you were talking directly to me. Um, I just really wanted to take a minute and thank you because this has been the perfect example of something of start before you're ready, figure it out as you go. And I'm very pleasantly, um, not surprised, but I feel really good to be able to tell you we finally know what we're doing. Now, that may not be reflected today, but meaning we know where we're going. Um, so speaking of which, this is the penultimate episode of season four. So next week will be our last episode of season four. As you know, I was sharing all about slowing down this integration period, and I have felt with every fiber of my being, all of a sudden, everything was like, oh yeah, we're not going to do like anything. We're just slowing it down. And what I mean by that, because what I want to share is sometimes we think about integration or these rest periods is like that we're not doing anything. And I think that's the beauty of leveling up, quote unquote. That's the beauty of growing, right? Of maturing, of deepening your capacity to be alive is that, right? I always say you can't juggle chainsaws until you learn how to juggle. And now that I have built these skills of knowing how to juggle and now knowing how to juggle fire... I can juggle fire and also be in a place of integration at the same time. And so maybe you're in that place too, where slowing down this rest period doesn't mean that we're not going to be doing anything. And maybe for you, that is, maybe you are in that place where you're like, no nah, girl, I'm turning it off, you know, and to that, I would say mazel. Okay. But, um, I just like to share that because I think sometimes, there's even this odd pressure that then we put on ourselves of like, oh, Rachel said I'm supposed to be resting, you know, like it's, you're not, everything you're doing is right. Okay. You're doing a great fucking job. All right. Wherever you are, I want you to hear me say that. If you're even listening to this podcast as an attempt to continue to invest in yourself, fucking A, you're doing a great job, right? Being alive is wild. It is wild that we're all just out here doing this, you know? So I'm very, very proud of you. I wanted to, this episode today, I cannot take credit for. This was inspired by a listener, Andrea. Sorry to call you out. I will not say your last name, but you're a boss and I appreciate it. Andrea 
uh, sent me a DM and was like, Hey, are you doing, um, an episode about going from fall to summer? I had listened to your, um, preparing for spring episode. And I was curious if maybe I missed that. And I was like, no, but that's a great idea. And I'm going to do that episode for you. So this is what this is going to be today is we are going to build on the last two episodes talking about this integration period and like winter is coming and what is in the energy, what is in the air, what can we do to prepare? And I think it's the perfect time to leave you with this. And the next week we're going to have a little bit of like a wrap up episode and then, um, I will be dropping a few things while we're in between season four and five, but I'll tell you about that later. So I'm not going to completely ghost you. Okay. I know like my favorite podcast, you know, when they go, so I'm like, Oh, you know, and you're waiting for that next thing. So don't worry. I got some fun things lined up for you, but I do need to take a break in order to fully integrate, uh, and really allow where I am now to meet up with future self. And it feels so fucking good my dudes. Like I feel like this winter is so just ma 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 juicy. Like I am so excited for each and every one of us because I don't want to not acknowledge the big stretch that's happening. There's this really big stretch and I may be talking about it a little bit out of order, but if you've listened to this, then <laughs> what's new? Um, but that's really what we're going to be talking about is this fall energy, but really going into winter, right? Because, and again, I know this is if you are listening to a different part of the world where it's not winter, but I do feel like they're all universal um, lessons and messages. And I think that there's something in here for everyone. So winter is coming. What do we do? I think that so many of us, especially those of you that have created your own, uh, you know, transformation journey. You guys, I know I've been talking about this getting fit and famous by 40, which is kind of this overall theme for this part of my life for the next 18 months of my life is this, um, this theme of really upgrading on all cylinders. It's upgrading the way I present myself, the way I take care of myself, the things that I produce, the things that I do. And it's really this transform this transformation journey for myself. And I've offered that to all of you. What is this major transformation piece? Because really what it is, um, I cannot take credit for this. This was a message from Nikki Novo. You guys know I talk about her a lot on podcast. Go and check out her soul led living podcast. Um, and something she said recently, there was messages from your future self was an episode. And one of the things she said was often um, that our future self stays in the future because we leave them there. It's almost like we're always like, oh, well, one day, right? It's this idea of delayed success that we're always like, one day we'll get there one day. And there is something to that of allowing ourselves to evolve into that place, right? So I'm asking you to, to rise above a little bit, think a little bit higher um, and read between the lines a little bit and what I'm offering here today, which is not saying that you need to rush anything, but it's also, it's not about rushing. It's about commitment. If you commit, if you lock yourself into the seat, like the image I keep seeing for me is like, you know, when you get on a roller coaster and like, maybe everybody else wanted to go on the coaster and you were like the whole time you're like, fuck yeah, I'm going to get on that roller coaster. I'm going to ride in the fucking front row. Like, hell yeah, let's go. And then it's time to go. And then you're like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm really wanting it. Are you sure? We said the front row. Yeah, no, fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can do it. And that like, think, 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 right. And they lock you in with that, um, like the harness that comes across the front and you try to push on it. And it like gives a little bit, but you know, you're in it now, you know, and you're like, well, I'm not going to get out now. Right. And then you're going and it's like, tick, 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 tick. That is, that's the level of meeting up with your future self. That's what I'm talking about of like, we are no longer, it's no longer this delayed success. Over the past few months, we have taken ourselves from the spectator to, we, we are the show. We are in it. We are in the arena. We are prepared to get stomped on by bulls. Like let's fucking go. Right. That's the energy. And I think, and this may be personal to me, but I want to share it because I think that it will resonate for some of you, which is like, I've also decided for myself that I don't need to give any other weight, energy, ideas, or anything to this experience. 
And it more becomes how can I, and now all of my metaphors are mixing together, but like, how can I just go for the ride? Like, why, why do we always, and I think this is definitely specific to those of us that we're overthinkers, we're, you know, we feel like we have to be everything for everyone. And then we've got to twist and turn ourselves to be for every, like, and so much of this journey has been about like undoing and unlearning and this getting in, you know, the driver's seat, letting that, like letting yourself get locked in and that tick, 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 tick all the way up. This is about claiming that, dare I say, main character energy. It is about allowing yourself to evolve. And that, you know, for a lot of us as an empath, very deep empaths, healers, all of this, when we are not in the powerful state of that, when we are still allowing our ability through our body, through whatever your clairs are, however you receive information, because we take on so much and we can feel the weight of the world, we feel as though that like we can't really do both. And I feel like the evolved, the intelligent intuitive is somebody who can say yes and. Like something I keep saying to myself is like, the weight of the world is not on my shoulders because all of my tension is carried in my shoulders. I look like a linebacker, okay? I look like the third Kelsey brother, all right? Like it is time to relax your shoulders, The weight of the world is not on your shoulders. And especially for those of us that have these healing gifts that, by the way, I think everybody has healing gifts, but you know what I mean? We feel like we know how big our purpose is and our vision and all of these things. And so we take on so much more of that. And what that's doing is it's delaying our success. It is draining our power. And when I say success, I don't mean like rich in fame and maybe it is that, but I just mean locking yourself in that seat and getting started. And so a lot of what we're going to be doing this winter is integrating. So that's why I say there's going to be a lot of rest, but you know, full disclosure, I just signed one of the biggest deals of my life. Um, and we are officially moving forward with the comedy club. The studio is opening next week. If you're listening to this in real time in in November. Um, and I've been working with a fantastic business strategist. You guys know Terry Watson going supernova on Instagram, uh, and on TikTok Uh, has been so, uh, integrated for me. And we've just had all these people kind of show up and now it is that time of like, Oh, holy shit. Like it's go time. Like this is really when, my future self and I are colliding. We are integrating. And I'm going to guess that that, not even guess, I'm sharing this because I know that truth is true for you and whatever your specifics are, right? That you are experiencing this new level where you know that you have been preparing for it. We've been preparing for it here on this podcast. You've been doing that work. You've been letting go of things. Maybe you're stepping into your business full time. You've pivoted your business. Um, You've stepped into that relationship, left that relationship. Like Whatever it is, we have let go of all of that, right? Like We started this, I think in March, I started delivering messages about this of like, we are untangling, we are letting go of. And then by about July, that's when it was like 999, right? I'm like, all of that is dead. And we all know it now. And then we've slowly been like, tick, 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 like up now into this place. And I feel like winter is this opportunity for us to almost practice in secret. Meaning that your yourself has now caught up to your future self. You are in this full alignment of body, mind, and soul, right? You guys know um, that in September, we did a free workshop that was starting this transfer transformation journey for us. We we're doing another uh, free workshop in December, and that one is all about this body, mind, and soul alignment. Now, I know many of you, you're like, yeah, body, body, mind, soul, I teach that. I know, I know, I know. I'm not saying I know something that you don't, but I will say that this has been an absolute game changer for me in the ability to like 
move through any limiting beliefs and the biggest component, which is our physical body, right? Um, which is why this whole aspect of getting fit has been so monumental for me because this time it's not about like, yeah, of course I want to like look hot and present myself in a way that like I feel good, but it's not about like thin or like old words and connotations I would attach to it. Now it's about energy, vitality, like the amount of things that need to come through my physical body to be put into the world is so major. And you guys know, starting in March, I was having really severe panic attacks. Um, I'm sorry. Now I'm just bragging. Um, and I ended up in the hospital and I was really like, and while all that sounds like, oh my gosh, and, and it was very serious, but I even know now when I'll start to feel that panic rise, I'm able to recognize it acknowledge it and then like integrate that of being like, we're safe. We've got this. We're good. And all of that. And for me, because I don't want to speak to panic disorders. I know there's many other things happening and shocker. I am not a doctor. Okay. Uh, or even a licensed physician of any stretch of the imagination. Okay. I'm a musical theater major. That's what you're looking at. Okay. But for me, it was a nervous system thing that my mind and my soul like my soul knew, my mind locked into it. And then my body was kind of like, I don't know, guys, are you sure you want to do this? And we've been dragging her along through this whole process. And so we don't want to do it that way, right? There is growth and integration that's going to take time. But that true, again, that powerful, intuitive, that intelligent, intuitive, um, you know, that health, that like healthy healer, frankly, um, when we are in our our finest place of power is when all of those things are aligned. So when we have body, mind, and soul in full alignment, that is, you're literally unstoppable. So you've been warned, okay? Like what you want to manifest will manifest itself so quickly. Like you need to make sure you're prepared for what it is that you're going to be doing, right? Like that's how I felt yesterday. Like, okay, this deal is done. Like we're doing it. And I was waiting for my body to like freak out or have this big reaction. And I was fairly neutral. And I was like, oh my God. Like, I mean, now we have like the whole, you know, now I have so many other things to learn and do, but like just meaning where I have been so tending to my nervous system and reminding myself I'm safe and doing all of that work over the last couple of months that I was really able to integrate and feel safe and move forward. And so all of those things have to be in alignment. And that's really what this work is calling us to do through winter. It's not about like, that's the upgrade. Like the upgrade now comes from, so maybe you're like me where there are different deals and stuff. Like I will still very much be producing, but also like, that's why this podcast is going to come in for a landing and give me, you know, eight weeks to really level up this podcast. We're going to be switching some things up, bringing you some new things, and it'll give me that space and time to kind of like, you know, again, we talk about this with the garden, like, you know, you don't grow certain crops all throughout the year. Some will come down. You've got to switch it out. Like that's what this time is for. Like, have you really cleared away all of the weeds? What are the new seeds that you want to plant? And then what are the things that are growing? Like everything that's happening for all of us, like I feel like it is very active, but what we want to do is that resting piece, that integration piece is allowing that body, mind, and soul to like boop, 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 come into that place of alignment so that when we start to come out of this cocoon end of February, March, and then you're going to go into airy season. And that's when like, boop, 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 everything has really like, um, begun to bloom. And that's going to like take us all through next year. Um, that we're going to be better for it because we took this time to really do that work. And, you know, I always say, I always say it as like soul, mind, and body or body, mind, soul, right? Because if, you, if you're if you watching this, you could see like your soul, your higher self. So that's up above, right? And then your mind sits right in the middle and then your body, which connects you and keeps you grounded. So it's it's interesting where like your mind really is, I heard this recently, my mind is the center of divine operation. 
My mind is the center of divine operation. Shout out to Stacia Patwell of School of Thought. She's my trainer. Um, and that was something that she offered us. She got it from another podcast. I apologize. I don't remember. But I was so blown away by that because we do so much like, oh, we're overthinking or this or this or that. And it's like we – I would say more than even like – because the soul is the blueprint. Like there's not really a lot of negotiating that happens there, right? We can just kind of confirm or deny, but that's kind of written in the stars, so to speak, right? Um, our purpose and what we came here to do. And our mind works so well as this like in between where like we can program our mind to work for us, not to work against us. And our mind also can be a beautiful advisor, right? That's why it wants to run out the worst case scenario. Like when we were moving to this next big um, thing with our business and we were like, okay, is this what we should be doing? There was this thought of like, oh my gosh, this was the worst choice. What are we thinking? And then I'm like, sure. Okay. Let's run out the tape. What would be the worst case scenario? Okay. And then we came up with what that is. I'm like, great. But now we're going to program us to know and accept that this is the best case scenario and the most likely scenario. And that's what's going to happen. That's what we're going to prepare for. And so thank you to my brain for letting me know <laughs> this could also be a chaotic choice and you're going to ruin everything you've ever worked for, you big dumb idiot. Thank you. I will take that into account. And also my mind is the center of divine operation and I will allow that to continue to guide me through. And when... When we really get cooking is when we can use the signals from our body to match up with our mind. And obviously we can talk all about our nervous system. We've done episodes on it. And this is really about letting our body know that it's safe. Because when we, I never in a million years would have thought that, you know, like I thought all my panic attacks were coming from like blood sugar issues and I had all my blood sugar checked out and like hormones and all these different things. And I'm like, Oh no, my body's just scared because we're doing things that we've never done before. And we're doing all the things that we've been saying we're going to do. And just like any other muscle, right? Like you can't go and lift a hundred pound dumbbell if you haven't been lifting, lifting five pound dumbbells. So it's the same thing of like, because humble brag, I'm so good at manifesting. I almost manifested past what my body was able to handle. So this is exactly what I'm talking about with that body, mind, and soul, because we want to, and we know and accept that good things take time, that I am in perfect timing to align with my purpose. I am in perfect timing to align with my purpose. And that has become so real to me, y'all, in a way that like, I don't know, like I could like cry. I won't get emotional about it. This is, this is a comedy podcast. We're having a good time. But like, I felt this huge sense of relief where I was like, oh my God, <laughs> it's actually going to fucking work. You know, where I was like, I feel like I have been in this research and development stage for two and a half years of like trying one thing. No, that wasn't it. Trying this thing. And you start to feel like when you've been in this place of research and development for so long, in that place of, you know, creativity and optimization and trying different things and trying to, you know, it, you start to feel like maybe I'm missing the mark, maybe I'm off. And coming out of that and hitting that like aha moment, that lightning bolt moment and trusting and knowing like all of that was for a great purpose, which is why this season, this winter is all about truly, truly committing and trusting your purpose, your higher self, and putting yourself, like I said, you know, where it's like, all right, I'm in the front of this giant roller coaster and I'm in the seat, I'm committed. And that's just this first part. Like we, we just really, really need to allow where we are now to catch up with our future self. And I do think a lot of that, you know, one of my favorite quotes is like, um, excuse me, slow down so that the things you're chasing can catch up to you. It's like sometimes, 
and I don't know, God bless. Hopefully you're not like me in that way. But I am like, whether it's, I'm sure it's a combination of things of ADD and then because I feel like I waited so long to fully step into my purpose. So I have to make it happen fast and like, you know, whatever of all the combination of why I typically go too fast. And I did a, a future self meditation recently and it was all about like, what would they want to tell you? And I was like, oh my God, why does she look so fucking calm? You know, like just softly came to the door, like very stylish, but very simply dressed. Like just, there was no, she was magnetic because there was no need to be impressive. Does that make sense? Like she was beautiful and simple but chic, like there, that was what was so magnetic about her. And I feel like I still so much of, and I share this because I'm sure this relates to a lot of you, especially as people pleasers and the second place people where it's like, oh, well, we're fine. We'll just come in second place. Like if those energetic stories resonate with you, where a lot of me was still like, oh, I've got to create 75 different things and everybody's got to know that I'm doing something and da, da, da. And while, yes, being a generator and being a grand creator is just a part of who I am, it also doesn't need to be on display 24-7. Or that's that integration piece, right? This is that that place of commitment where it's like, can you just accept like that you're incredibly powerful? Like, what would that feel like for you to spend the winter fully accepting your, like, divinity? My whole body is lit up. Because you, the number one thing is you would operate completely differently, right? Like, I feel like it's almost, I hate to say this, I'm so sorry, but it feels, it was the first that popped in my head. It feels like that like Brad Pitt energy. Like I can't even imagine, and I know there's like a lot of negative stuff about him right now, which is like, I don't want to use him. Let me see if I can come up with somebody else. Um, uh, Just let's think about that like line of, I'll edit this out, but I won't because it's raw. But just that energy, like somebody like that, where it's like, they're in no rush. They don't have anywhere to be. Like, it's just like, we're cool, man. Like we're doing it, you know? And I think that they're, that is the acceptance. It's the accepting, like, I'm okay to be watched. I'm okay to be ignored. I'm here to have people follow and listen. I'm also fine if people think I'm, you know, kooky or whatever. Like the thing is in where you are in your life. And I also think that through the holidays and whatever winter holidays you celebrate or try to ignore, um, we have these opportunities to go into spaces that may feel constricting. And I think it gives us the opportunity to what would it feel like to go in with that like Joe Cool energy, you know, of just like, I'm here to be present because that's ultimately what it is, right? It's presence. And the beauty of when naturally nature and the world slow down is it's, I think it's just internally a little bit easier for us, even like, despite that, like everything is constantly telling us we're supposed to be doing things all the time. But I think if there's any time where it, it feels easier. We're not working so much against ourselves. It's winter. And I think that, like I said, I don't really think a lot of this energy is going to change until around March. I mean, I think obviously we'll have like different micro energies throughout that time. But I think if we really use this time, and I love that it's a long time, because what is that? November, December, January, February, it's four months. It's a more than a full quarter of the year. So you don't have to be in a rush. Accepting your divinity, accepting your power and that you don't have to prove it to anybody. You don't have to come up with the perfect website. It's not like the perfect headshot that's going to change your whole career. Like all of those outside things, they're just tools. 
but they will only all work for you if you are working for you. And the only way that we're able to do that is by slowing down to really be with ourselves. Like you guys have heard my mom before on the podcast. And one of the very wise things she's always said to me is you can only go as fast as the slowest part of you will go. And again, that's that body, mind, and soul check-in because everybody will tell you, you got to switch your mindset to get this or like, you got to manifest this. And like, there's, I hate to tell you, there is no cheat code. There's no cheat code. You're going to have to go through the steps of healing and expansion and slowing down in order to to bring in those things that you want. But that's the best part is when you do the work, you reap the benefits. Like that I know. If there is anything that I'm absolutely fucking positive about, it's that if you work, it works. Like if you work it, it works. It does. It's undeniable. So why would we wait any longer to catch up with our future self when we can do that work now? Like, in fact, the fastest way to get what we want is to slow down. And it's as simple as that. I really hope and I trust that this was helpful. There's a few of you that even popped into my mind as I was speaking and um whether that's just because I know a little bit more about what is going on in your life or I just, you, your energy popped up for me. Um, I know that this, and I trust that this will really resonate for a lot of us. And I think, um, it's really going to be a beautiful winter. And I think there's so much that's coming and so much that so many of us have been waiting to express and to do and to put out into the world. And, if you were needing to hear a message or a sign that it's real and it's coming, then this is, this is that. It is real. It is coming. And um, you're completely capable and powerful to be the conduit to bring it into existence. So I'm really excited for you. I'm really excited for all of us. Um, and again, just, you know, tapping into that, Joe cool energy or whatever that is your future self energy. There was one more tip I'll leave you with that I've been only implementing over the last couple of days. And it's been immensely helpful, which was, um, this was also suggested to me by my trainer, but she heard it on another podcast. Um, but just, you know, full disclosure, it's not like fully my idea. Um, which is anything it's all parallel thinking, but anyway, conversation for a different day, set an alarm on your phone, uh, for the top of every hour or whenever you decide. And when that alarm goes off for 10 seconds, connect to your higher self, just 10 seconds. And that may be different for each of you. You all have different practices of how you connect. For me, it's energy. How does she feel? So when I've been making these big deals and going into negotiations that respectfully right now, I feel like I have no business being a part of, right? With doing it with people who've been doing this in business for 30 years, So my instinct is to get small, get scared. My voice speeds up. But by checking in with her, she's not scared. She makes deals all the time. She knows how powerful she is. And she knows if this doesn't work out, then another thing comes through. She's in no hurry. And she don't need anybody's money because she's taken care of. And so I was able to, in real time, while stuck in traffic on I-75 in Atlanta, you know, after like a crazy morning and they're like, great, they want to talk again. I'm like, oh my God. And I was able, I'm like, what does it feel like? Sit back, man. Sit back. It's okay. It's it's really not that big of a deal. And it instantly gave me so much more power, slowed my heart rate down, allowed me to be charming, which is one of, you know, the attributes that I appreciate the most about me, you know? So it's like, just slow down and do what you do. Okay. So really integrate that, uh, I think is a super easy exercise and something that like, there's no way you don't have 10 seconds every hour. Okay. Um, so do that really meditate, use the journal prompts from this episode, please. If this felt, you don't have to do it all right at once. You have four months, but take these mantras. My mind is the center of divine operation, right? I will, I have the time to align with my soul's purpose. Like all of these mantras, write them down, use them, integrate them, put them on the back of your phone. Okay. I have post-its, like I said, my 
bathroom looks like a scene from a beautiful mind, you know, like I just, I have, you know, it's just an amalgamation of like live, laugh, love all over my bathroom. So, you know, it works if you work it. All right. Uh, like I said, check the show notes for my upcoming free workshop in December, especially if all of this about mind, body, and soul alignment, uh, resonates with you. You are not going to want to miss this. We are building on our first workshop that happened in September. If you've not gone back and listened to that, it's completely free. I have a free guidebook for you. It's on my Substack, which you can also join for free. If you have not, why? There's so much on there that is for free, 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 freaking free, free, free. Um, and I also have a paid for, uh, a paywall on my Substack as well. That's only nine ninety nine a month. It's ten dollars a month, and it is packed full of value to help you transform your life, no matter what phase of the journey that you are on. I make it ten uh, bucks a month because when I first started in all of this, I was so broke, and I just needed help and guidance in a way that I could invest in myself and also pay rent. Okay. So it's virtually free. I would love for you to be able to go check that out. Uh, that's going to be expanding and growing over the next year as well. So please go and check that out. As always, you can join my newsletter. I have new one-on-one offerings. Back in September, I gave you guys a 50% off code for that. If you are balling on a budget and you want to work with me, DM me, I will give you the 50% off code. Okay. I'm not making millions of dollars off these one-on-ones. I do not want to block your blessings of you being able to do the work you need to do. So take advantage of this. If you need that 50% off code, DM me. I will get that to you and we can work together. Okay. So there are plenty, all ranges of budgets to be able to work with me. And you know, you already know exactly what you need to do. I'm just here to be the sounding board and really kind of fill in the blanks for you, for you to be able to skyrocket and take off and get to where you need to be. All right. Uh, thank you again to Andrea for the prompt of this episode. It was so in alignment with what I needed. I needed to share. I think we all needed to hear. So I just wanted to say thank you again for that. All right. Uh, if this also resonated with you, I'm doing a card pull. That full message will be over on the sub stack. So you can jump over there and catch more about winter is coming and slowing down to uh, integrate everything that is meant for you. All right. That's it. That's all she's got. That's it. After she just talks at you for 30 minutes, she's like, okay, well, that's it. Seems real simple. All right. I'm going to go cry in the closet. All right, guys. Love you. Mean it. Time, weather, and-